faster. So it was long. I was out much longer than I wanted to, and I ended up having to eat Wetzel's pretzels for dinner and a diet root beer. Not healthy. I didn't go to the airport and then head off to Miami to meet a ton of people on YouTube that I'm so excited to meet. So. Good morning. Great news. I'm feeling much more energetic this Monday morning than I have in a long time. Um, and I'm just happy to report that. And that is despite the fact that this weekend, um, I know I've mentioned in a couple of vlogs that for the past couple months, I have really held true to my new rule of not working during the weekends, like not doing any school work, just taking the weekend off. Uh, but I w when I left school on Friday, I knew that this past weekend wasn't gonna be like that because the reality of the situation hit me. Um, state testing is coming up in the next six weeks or so on top of that i have i have to get ready to be out for uh, my surgery so there's some things i needed to get done i got backed up on grading because i've just been in meetings all day every day lately and basically i just had stuff that i needed to get do get done and this weekend i needed to do it and this this coming week that i have just started is going to be extremely busy i have meetings every day um, and then I have some exciting travel plans this weekend. So this weekend I am going to be attending along with anybody else that you could probably think of that is a teacher on um, YouTube or Instagram. We are going to be attending the very first impact driven teaching conference um, that is being put on by a company called Genius Plaza in Miami. So I will be flying out Thursday night and I will be there until Sunday early evening, I believe. And I just don't even know what to expect because it is going to be just an epic meeting of teachers on social media and YouTube. There are several people that I feel like I know but I've never physically met in person. And I'm just really looking forward to getting to meet these people as well as just attend this conference where the whole premise is Yes, we're all teachers on social media, but what are we doing with that um, influence on social media to make it a positive thing for the teaching community? And how are we, or what are we doing to help grow the community that we've established? So I just have stuff that I need to make sure is in place before I fly out Thursday night. Sub plans need to be made. I have a couple, I have a couple meetings this week. I have an IEP um, and all of that. And today in the classroom, I would like to get our kickoff spring training. So this is something that I did last year to prep the kids for testing, but I did it much later in the third trimester. However, we are going to be taking the last round of iReady earlier this year, which I appreciate. Um, and I'm gonna use goal setting for iReady as like the official kickoff of spring training. So um, my plan is to meet with the kids today and look at their last iReady scores just in reading today um, and have them pick a goal and just kind of tie in um, the fact that our scores from this next iReady test are going to really help us define what we need to work on as individual students in this whole spring training process. So I'm going to show them a video of a baseball team participating in spring training. Um, we're going to talk about what spring training is all about. I'm going to read them a book and then we're going to kind of kick it off. And I will probably go into a little bit more detail. Oh, it's windy out here, guys, which means it's going to be cold. Sorry. Um, I will probably go into a little bit more detail about all this after school, after my meeting, um, because I have a very short commute and my time's almost running out. But needless to say, I spent pretty much the entire weekend working on several different things. Some were school related, some were related to getting ready for this conference. Um, and some were just like a little nitpicky things that I needed to get done around the house and in my life. So it's fine. I went to bed at 11.30 last night and woke up at 4.15 to work out. And I'm surprisingly full of energy at the moment. I'm, I'm probably just sleep deprived and it was daylight savings time. So I'm probably just delirious. And maybe delirium is what is causing me to feel super positive right now. So I'm not sure. But I also 
want to tell you that I bought this new scent from Bath and Body Works that I'll share with you guys later, and I love it. It is that it's rose. I think it's just called rose, but it smells so good. And I'm about to try a new flavor of coffee that I'm that I just recently purchased. So let's see. It's good. So this is the I think it's the Starbucks Caramel K cup. It's hard for me to find one that I like because truth be told, I like my coffee to be very flavored and sweet. And this might be my new my new go-to. So that's it. Um, I'm just about at school. I wish I could show you the view right now. It is very beautiful. I, I wish I could share because I know a lot of you appreciate the scenery when I drive to work. But the skies are clear. The mountains are very visible. Uh, but the wind's blowing. So, you know, you can't have it all. But anyway, I'm at work. I don't want to start rambling. So I will check in with you guys later on. I hope you guys have a great day. Hello guys, it's uh, 4.02 to be precise. I'm getting ready to go home. I'm actually going home to hop on Instagram Live and join Fernanda and CJ to talk about our trip to Miami that's coming up this weekend that I mentioned earlier uh, this morning. And then I just have more work to do because I have a lot of stuff that I need to get done this week. Uh, but I wanted to share with you a the steps that I took today <clears throat> um, to kick off spring training. So I added this product to the description box of last week's vlog if you want to uh, take a look at it, but I'll try and remember to add it to this vlog as well. And basically this was just a product I found on Teachers Pay Teachers that I use for test prep, just to kind of get the kids excited about it, as excited as one could get for, you know, testing. And, um, it just gives me the opportunity to wrap it around some kind of theme and helps me to kind of keep it light. So I came into school today and the first thing that I did is I showed them the video that I referenced this morning and I will try and remember to put that in the description box, in the description box, sorry. And um, I asked kids what was the purpose of spring training and you know what, surprisingly, they said everything that I wanted them to say. Um, it's about honing your skills, refining skills, practicing on something that you know you weren't um, the best at in the prior season, improving as an individual player for the overall good of the team. So they said all of that and I let them know, great, we're gonna reference and refer to those ideas as we get ready for our big game day, which is going to be this test that you take. So um, I had them working in independently on a project that we started last week and I pulled groups back, showed them their iReady scores based on how they're perform or based on their performance, they chose one of the categories from iReady and um, made that their focus for spring training. So I'm going to have them pick one spring training goal for language arts, one for math. And so we just got that part started today. We looked at the progress they made from the last two tests and just kind of celebrated that. Um, and that was as far as we got. I also, we also started the countdown to the big game day. Um, I told them they'll be taking this test in multiple sessions. So each testing day is gonna be referred to as an inning. So um, we have, I can't remember the count because I have to recount it, but we want it or they want it to track it by school days. And we have just around 30 school days left, not including weekends obviously, and spring break um, to train and get ready. So um, I'm gonna be putting that up tomorrow and it's just a little countdown sheet and we'll progressively add some of these spring training baseball themed elements to the classroom. <clears throat> so we did that and then for the read aloud, I chose specifically to read this book today. It is called Thanks for the Feedback. I had bought this as a part of my growth mindset set of books and I don't think I actually got around to reading that one last year so this year was my first time reading it and I really liked it because it just teaches them what feedback is and that feedback can be positive it can be negative and that overall feedback is just some form of information that um, someone needs to improve upon something to reflect on themselves and it even teaches them what do you do when someone's just giving you mean negative feedback that is mean spirited and the one thing I do really like about working with this age group is that when they hear some new term they're really quick to like incorporate it so um, it just so happened that today we were doing chapter 9 math review and um, 
they were asking can they give their partners feedback if they felt like they were you know off task or not doing something correctly and they specifically were using the word feedback and i said yes so i need to make a conscientious effort to use the word feedback in this class from now on um, but i told them i said Feedback is a part of how you learn. Um, so anytime I'm correcting you, anytime I write a note, whether it's positive or um, corrective on a quiz or a test, that's just a form of feedback. And I said, imagine if you were in kindergarten and you were calling an S a Q and a C a B and no one was giving you feedback to tell you that what you were saying was incorrect you would never have learned your letters properly and I said so that's really all feedback is in terms of academics it's just we're trying to give you the information we know that you need so that you can learn so um, that happened and then after school I had a staff meeting and then I had to come back and meet with my grade level because we had some district assessments that we had to grade together. I responded to some emails and um, that is pretty much it. So I'm packing up to go home to make sure I'm home in time to join Fernanda and CJ. And then I need to go buy um, a nice dress because I think I have to be dressed up for one of the days that I'll be in Miami. And um, I, I, I don't, of all the pieces of clothing I've bought over the years, I don't have anything that I would consider a cocktail dress. Cocktail dress. So I'm gonna go to, um, I never know what to say. Black house, white market, black barn, white market, I don't know. But that's where I'm gonna go. Um, if I'm feeling energized and motivated, I'll check back in with you guys to show you what I bought. Hopefully I find something and um, I'll close out the vlog then. So I'm not gonna say goodbye right now because I'm feeling very optimistic that I'll be able to do that. Um, but if you don't get a proper goodbye for the day, don't be offended because I didn't mean to do it. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. It's after 6.30, I'm at home. Um, I didn't vlog at all at school today because what you basically missed was us going the review test for chapter nine math and go math and then them taking the test. And every time we go over the review test, I use that Kagan structure, find someone who, uh, but yesterday we didn't have enough time to do the structure, including the part where we come to a consensus. So basically today, when they got to school, we had to correct and clarify any issues we had with the whole review test, and that can take a long time. And every time it takes a long time, I always second guess my choices as a teacher, like, is this a good use of our class time? And I always come back to the idea of, yes, I need to make sure they feel comfortable and confident taking the test and so it ends up being time well spent even though it feels wrong in the moment um, so we did that and then they took their math test and then we had some time to listen to Charlotte's Web and that was pretty much it aside from they took um, a portion of their I ready reading test today so that's what you missed uh, so what I thought I would do is take this opportunity to vlog today and show you some of the things that I purchased for this trip to Miami that I'm taking for this very exciting inaugural conference. Um, my camera's shaking because I'm trying to multitask. So I'm going to put you guys down because I can tell you that my arm was already getting tired. So um, this... For lack of better term, well, no, not lack of better term, this impact-driven teaching conference where the focus is bringing teachers together that are on social media and just talking about, um, you know, how we can use our presence on social media to affect positive change, to help the educational system as a whole, and also just talking about just growing your community and attracting people that are like-minded um, to your channel or your Instagram account or whatever the case may be. So I picked up a couple of things over the weekend. Last night, I went shopping. I think that I mentioned that in yesterday's vlog. And for someone who loves to shop as much as I do, I really got a glimpse of what it must feel like for someone who hates to shop because I just had such, my camera's crooked. I don't know if that got any better. I just had such an annoying experience shopping last night. Number one, it's always annoying when you have to go out and find something in particular, like when you have to go out and buy a dress. Just finding something that I was gonna feel comfortable in, finding something that I didn't think I was gonna wear just one time, and then you have to find shoes if you know you don't have shoes to go with it. And basically what made that experience frustrating is just having to try on clothes when you're tired. 
um, and then going to pay for things and there's only like one person working the register and the customer in front of you is doing 5,000 transactions and then reversing the transaction and then doing the transaction again and then reversing the transaction again because that happened and um, going to another store where they're trying to use one of the card readers and the card reader's not working and they just are insistent to make it work instead of just saying, you know what? Let's scrap this and just use the old school register. So it was long. I was out much longer than I wanted to and I ended up having to eat Wetzel's pretzels for dinner and a diet root beer. Not healthy. So um, I'm gonna just show you what I got really quickly and then that'll be it for today. So the first few things I'm gonna show you are just um, some tops because it's just pretty much casual this conference so I stopped in at Old Navy over the weekend really because I was looking for like some yoga pants because there is going to be this yoga session and I don't really have yoga pants so I wanted to see what they had and I ended up picking up a couple of other things along the way okay so I have you guys set up on a tissue box on this tripod so I'm going to use this to kind of show you what I bought I stopped at Old Navy over the weekend first looking for like just some yoga pants because there is a yoga session and I don't really have yoga pants um, I didn't really find yoga pants I ended up picking up some like workout pants instead and that'll just have to do but of course I went in there and saw some great deals so I bought a couple of things along the way uh, the first thing I picked up was this top since it's Miami I wanted something a little bright and floral so I picked this up tried it on I liked it the first thing that I saw well I'll show you it later because these are in piles and I don't feel like disrupting the pile then they had a sale on jeans their jeans were 50% off so I bought a pair of boyfriend jeans you can really never have enough jeans I will definitely wear these more than once as we all know and then I picked up this sweatshirt my thought is I will wear this um I might wear it for yoga. I don't really, sh I'm not really sure what the weather is, but this was on sale. I liked the color. I need some more lounge wear. So even if this doesn't work out for Miami, it's just something that I know I'll wear over the weekend. Uh, these were the pants that I got instead of yoga pants. Uh, these are actually just workout pants. They have like the little cuts at the ankle. I'm gonna wear it with the sweatshirt and or just a regular workout shirt that I already have. I also bought some sweatpants because I do need more loungewear. I might take these with me because there is like um, a little social pajama night, but this might be my pajamas instead. And then these are the first things that caught my eye and that's kind of what led me all the way through Old Navy to pick up these other items, unfortunately, because I didn't go in there with the intentions to shop. But they had these cardigans on sale, so I believe as a teacher you can never have too many cardigans so I picked one up in yellow I picked one up in this blue and then I picked one up in this lilac color and these were 30% off so I picked those up and then last night at my annoying shopping adventure I found a dress let me see You know what? I feel bad. I don't want to take this out of the bag. <laughs> I don't want to take it out of the bag, but um, maybe that'll be something fun to show in the vlog over the weekend. But it's just a basic black dress. It's not like a cocktail dress. I decided to go a little bit more conservative because this is just a conference with teachers. I'm not going over there clubbing, trying to find a husband. Um, I'm going to be about, around a bunch of mostly women. A couple of men will be there and they're friends. So let's just keep it classy. So I just bought something a little bit more conservative. It is black. Um, so I'll show that to you when I'm wearing it or I, I don't know guys we'll see uh, but then I needed one of these so I bought this little clutch from Express believe it or not I don't have one of these and I at this age I feel like that's ridiculous and uh, to go with my dress to give it a pop of color I bought these yellow shoes from Steve Madden these look a lot like a pair of black shoes that I have a pair of red ones that I have I could have worn the red ones that I have but I kind of wanted it to be bright since I am going to be in Miami and I thought yellow was a better option. And the next thing and the last thing I'm going to show you is something that I really just had no business buying. But when I saw this in Express, I just really felt like I had to have it. Especially because I just bought all these cute booties 
um, from Tom's and I just immediately saw this and thought that would be so cute with, with the booties that I bought. So I bought this sweater from Express. Um, I just love the colors on it, the fact that it's striped, it's different. It is probably my favorite thing that I've bought in the longest time. So I got that. And then this next item, I really debated on it because I didn't want people to see me wearing this and then get the wrong idea of who I think that I am. But I just couldn't pass it up because this weekend is going to be this conference about social media and teachers that are on there and being a quote unquote influencer. So I just thought I had to get this shirt. Um, and it just says influencer and I wasn't going to get it because I didn't want people to think that that's really what I walk around thinking about myself. I think it's even odd now that someone would consider me to be an influencer because I just uh, do YouTube just to share my teaching experience just to give a realistic depiction of what teaching is, what our lives are like on a day to day basis and my Instagram account somewhat does the same but it's also just like my Instagram account would just a mix of teaching stuff and non-teaching related stuff. But I bought it because it's also a reminder that it's okay to acknowledge the fact that what you're sharing and what you're doing is having a positive impact or a positive influence on someone's life. So I think I just have such a negative connotation of the word influencer right now because everybody wants to be an influencer and for the wrong reasons like they want to influence for the money of it for the fame of it for the notoriety of it but then there are people out there a lot of the teachers that are coming if not all of them are in it for the right reasons they just want to influence people to think about things more critically to improve themselves as teachers to share what they know or share their experiences so i thought i'm gonna buy this shirt and i'm gonna wear it and um know that while I'm wearing it, the word influencer means something to me that might be a little bit different than someone else that's trying to influence for different reasons and in different ways. So I hope that made sense. That was a very haphazard and messy um, what I bought or haul as <laughs> I could say. But that's what it is. So tonight I really need to kind of focus on doing some work that I need to get done to help with the organization of this conference. My sub plans are pretty much typed because tomorrow I have two meetings after school. I might have three meetings after school, which now that I think about it. Um, and then I fly out on Thursday. So I really kind of need to pack tonight now that I think about it. So I hope that this wasn't too much of a hot mess for you guys and that you had a great day. And um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good evening, you guys. It is about 9.30. Um, I'm probably gonna talk very slowly to keep myself calm because I'm like just shy of crying out of just sheer, like just being overwhelmed. Um, I didn't vlog much today. I think I caught a very small clip of me getting ready for my sub on Friday since I will be out of town. Uh, after school, I had two meetings. I had one IEP that started at about three o'clock, ended a little after 4.30. And then after that, I had to go to the district office because we had a APEC meeting or African American parent educator, uh, African American parent educator advisory committee. Um, and those go from about five to seven. So I didn't leave there till after about 7.30. Then I got home, handled Genesis and Riley. And then I had to run out to Target to get some last minute items, which I will share in a second in preparation for my little weekend trip to this conference. So I am just so overwhelmed because I'm, you know, doing all my regular responsibilities with teaching. And this just happens to be a particularly busy week, just work wise. And then add to that, just trying to get ready for um, traveling, even though it's like a very small period of time. Um, you still have to just like make sure you have everything that you need, especially for this uh, 
this particular conference because it's a conference and I am one of the people that are helping to, helping um, Genius Plaza organize it. So I have some responsibilities in terms of just making sure I'm um, handling the, the things that they've asked me to do. So that's kind of another thing that I've just been working on simultaneously or, or in, simultaneously while I'm doing all the things that are involved with teaching. So like, it's like having a second job is what I'm trying to say. And I'm very thankful for it. I'm just happy that they um, invited me to help them with it. But you know, this week has been a lot. So um, I think I'm doing good in terms of getting everything done. I've turned things in work-wise. I've handled my responsibilities of helping to organize the conference, but I've literally not had like a moment's rest since the beginning of the week started. So I'm just overwhelmed by that. <laughs> um, so I'm just trying to take one, I'm not even living one day at a time right now. I'm literally living one task at a time. So what I've decided to do for the vlog today is just show you what I decided I needed to go purchase from Target just to help me prepare for the trip. For the most part, I have my clothes picked out and, and that kind of stuff. But then there were just like toiletry items and a couple of items I didn't have that I needed to adequately pack. So I'm going to share that with you um, and then, I don't know, I just thought that might be fun to see how I choose to pack or what I thought I needed and then I'll end the vlog for the day and then hopefully I'll be able to check in tomorrow just before I head to the airport um, and show you how I packed everything into my new Away suitcase which I think I'm going to love and I'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. So I'm just going to take a, a, a deep cleansing breath share with you what i bought shower focus on getting as packed as i can and then go to bed um and wake up tomorrow for another day so here's what i decided to get from target i'm not going to show you the first thing because it's like uh lady products but that's just what it is um i have this is my regular makeup bag or my makeup container so this is what i keep all my makeup in and i'm obviously um, not going to be traveling with that so i wanted something that i could travel with so my, my makeup's in there and i keep all my brushes in in this container and i got both of these things from target uh, so i bought this container looks like this it's by the same line both of all of these items that i just showed you are by sonia is it kashuk I don't know sorry if I'm saying that wrong but this is a makeup bag and the reason why I bought this is because it just has like the regular compartment where you can put some things in it like that but then it also has a second section where you can also put some makeup items in it but it also has a little part where you can organize your brushes and I prefer to keep my brushes separate from the actual makeup itself so my thought is the makeup will go in there, brushes will go in there. So I bought that and um, I bought a smaller one for the toiletry type items that I need to bring. Hopefully this is big enough. So same print, just an open container. And I plan on putting things like my face wash, uh, my deodorant, all that kind of stuff in there. And I decided to make life a little bit easier and buy some things that are already travel size so that I can just get it packed up. I did buy these just because I wanna carry on my back tomorrow and you have to have items in here so that they can see what it is. This also, Sonia Kashuk. I just don't know if I'm saying that right. And so I bought a little travel size loofah, travel size toothpaste. Oh no, is this a gel? It is. I have travel size deodorant that's a gel. I don't really like gel deodorant, but I'll survive. Um, some makeup removers in case I don't do a full blown washing of my face when I'm there. Travel size container of cotton pads in case I do my regular face wash. A little Vaseline because I use this every day to moisturize with my lotion. And I think that's it with the exception of this dress. So one of the things we one of the events there requires us to be like dressed in cocktail attire. I'm not saying that this is a cocktail dress, but um, I didn't know that until the very last minute. So I had to do what I had to do. So I'm gonna try and make this work. I don't even know if this fits because I didn't try it on. So I'm gonna try it on in a second, but it's just this little black and white dress from 
Target. Um, just looks like that. It's very simple. This was really all that they had that I thought I could maybe make it work. So I got to try that on tonight. And then the last thing that I bought, because I did not realize how long the flight is from Southern California to Florida. And I have a layover, I think, in Salt Lake City. Um, so I need to be occupied, is I bought a new book. I bought this. I honestly had not heard of this book before, but it's called Where'd You Go, Bernadette? And it's uh, apparently being made into a movie. It looks like it's gonna be light and fun. I didn't want anything too heavy. I have a book that I'm not quite done with yet. So I might bring that one to finish in this one as well. So that is what I bought. So that is all that I have to share today. Um, I'm going to try my hardest to come in tomorrow, check in with you guys. I really do want to share with you my Away suitcase uh, because there are some great features that I didn't realize I had. Um, so hopefully I get home tomorrow and be able to do that and then have enough time to like be done and go to the airport and then head off to Miami to meet a ton of people on YouTube that I'm so excited to meet. So um, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna try and decompress, just take it one step at a time, tell myself everything will work itself out, everything will be fine. Tomorrow, I, I contemplated calling in for a sub, but I'm not going to. We have a field trip tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be the longest day of my life because I'll be up, I'll be on a field trip, and if you're a teacher, you know field trips take every last living breath out of you and then I'll come back finalize all my packing and then I'll be traveling for some hours so say a prayer for me guys but anyway let me get off of this and get to business um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow good morning update time um, I decided last night I told you I was gonna check in on the way to the airport or when I got home from work to close out the vlog and then soon after that I realized that's really not feasible because I just think that I will be busy um, so I'm just jumping on right now to close out this particular vlog I ended up going to bed at almost 1 o'clock in the morning last night woke up at 6 so again sleep deprived uh, for dinner I had a handful of barbecue chips and the cake that I got at the APEC meeting that I had. So once again, another unhealthy choice. Uh, I, I didn't cry. I held it together. I got, I got it together and I didn't cry. I believe that I'm fully packed. So when I come home today, all I need to do is zip everything up, double check everything, change clothes, and be on my way. Uh, today has already been off to a rough start. <laughs> My mom showed up to my house at mm, probably four, close to 4.15 in the morning because she's taking me to the airport and I asked her if she could take me to the airport and she asked me what time I needed to be there and I said five o'clock and she said, okay. Now the text message said, okay, that's early, but I thought she meant, okay, that's earlier than I thought because I told my mom that I was flying out Thursday night, but she does not remember that conversation and just assumed that I was flying out at five o'clock in the morning. So she was at my house knocking on the door at about 4.15 in the morning and she was not very happy about that and nor was I happy to be um, shooken from my slumber since I had just gone to bed a couple hours prior to that. Um, but we are now back on speaking terms, my mom and I. So it's Thursday. There are some major Santanta winds blowing in my neighborhood, which is why I'm wearing this hat. It's a fox, if you can't tell. Because I just don't want my hair flying all over the place. And we're going on a field trip. So I thought Let's just go full-blown uh, school spirit with this little fox beanie. Um, so we'll be at this field trip all day. The purpose of the field trip is just to teach them about early life in California and how life was different then in comparison to now. We will be there not the whole school day, but the majority of it. We will eat lunch there, and then after lunch we will be coming back. And um, I don't know, we might have like an hour or so of school left. And uh, that's it. So I need to, when I get back, I need to promptly leave at the end of the school day. I might even ask if I can leave a little bit early just because I don't want to feel super rushed when I get home. And then I'll be off. So what I've decided to do is uh, this will be the end of this vlog and then I will 
have like a, a weekend vlog to cover me traveling to Miami, my experience in Miami at the conference, and um, I just thought it would be more fun that way. So that is the plan. Fingers crossed that everybody that's slated to go is able to go because if you've been listening to the news, there's a certain kind of plane that has officially been grounded as of yesterday. Uh, the airline that I am flying through does not use those planes if I understood the news report correctly. So I don't think that I have to worry, but I don't know what that means for everybody else. It sounds like some flights are just canceled, um, but they're also like substituting the flight. So I don't know. Hopefully it all works out because that would be a logistical nightmare for like the people attending, the like main organizers, although I'm helping to organize it, I'm not like by no means in charge of travel and that kind of stuff. So I hope it all works out. So with that being said, I'm going to close out this vlog. I feel like this vlog was really less school related and more about me just trying to get myself ready for this trip, I feel like. So sorry there was not a lot of classroom talk, school talk, lesson talk, but you know, it's nice to have a change every now and then. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you don't mind it. If you like to give it a thumbs up and then I'll be sure I can't see you guys right now. I will be sure to see you guys in the next vlog where I'm in Miami. So I will see you guys then.